Hello YouTube, Brown Owls Tech Tips. In this video, I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview and a rundown on the newer version of Kali Linux. So, whenever you first boot, you have boot live, failsafe, live forensic mode. Forensic mode is really, really nice. You can do a lot of forensic testing on the system. Live USB persistence, if you have persistence set up and configured. You have live USB encrypted persistence. Install graphical install install with speech synthesis and advanced options which advanced options does give you several things including the ability to be able to test memory and the media however we're gonna go ahead and boot it so that way we can give you a rundown of the OS this is 2016.2 it is now a rolling progressive update upgrade type setup now instead of major releases so it's going to be updated on a semi-regular basis. For those of you who have dedicated systems for penetration testing and things like that, um, you can do the install and then just do the updates. The update from 2016.1 to 2016.2 is actually very simple, which is something that used to not be an easy task. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that that is the whole premise and everything that you really want to do. So few things to note on uh, the newer versions of Kali. There are quite a few new tools. A lot of the original tools are still there. All right, and once it loads up, this is based off of the uh, USB image and or DVD image. This particular one is the DVD image itself. Once it loads all the way up, you'll notice on the left-hand side that you have the Metasploit framework, Armitage, and there are a lot of tools. So you go to your applications. You have information, vulnerability, web apps, database, password, post exploit, SNAF exploit, reversing, wireless, forensics, reporting, SE tools, services, whole nine yards, archive manager, lots of stuff already put in there. You have your standard disk usage, all that good stuff, your partition stuff. There's Wireshark, ZenMap, which is NMAP. Pretty much everything you need. Alright, and once you actually get done looking at it that way, you can go look at what the specific tools are. So, for reconnaissance or information gathering, Net Discovers a really good one. And of course, you have NMAP in there as part of that. Here's the various uh, scanners and information gatherers. Your SMB analysis will come in really handy for attacks against uh, XP systems and older Windows 7 machines, especially 32-bit. You have your vulnerability analysis, several different fuzzing tools, Cisco tools, stress testing, VoIP tools. So yeah, lots and lots of fun exists in here. Lots of fun. There's Burp Suite. Burp Suite is very powerful for web applications. Online attacks, offline attacks, passwords and hash tools, password profiling. One of the best tools in here is Mimi Cats for passwords. Mimi Cats is pretty good about cracking passwords. So, all the tools that a pen tester and or attacker would need very 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 handy the one thing about the newer versions of Kali is rapid 7 for some reason decided we can still have the framework but they're no longer going to supply the full community or pro versions so now if you want the community or pro version you're going to have to go manually download and install that crap yourself which means you also have to sign up for it so that's really the only drawback. Other than that, some of the newer tools and everything else are pretty freaking awesome. So for any of you pen testers, uh, this is definitely good news. I mean, now you have rolling updates on Kali Linux. For you attackers out there, your black hat persons, well, <laughs> you already have a massive slew of tools, and this just adds to your treasure chest. And for those of you on corporate jobs doing what you're supposed to do, 
Um, if you have a dedicated Kelly system, that's great. You can do the install and now have rolling updates. However, you don't have to. Um, you can actually set up a USB drive with persistent storage, be able to do the updates and stuff on there, and never actually have to do an install. So, pretty quick overview of some of the stuff and just kind of some of the differences with the newer version of Kali Linux. Not a real major downer, but a little bit of one with the, the Metasploit thing, but still, uh, you can still go sign up for it and get it, so it's not too bad. This information is out there for absolutely everybody as always. Watch, like, and share. Have yourselves a great day.